sounds like boots, like an officer walking back and forth, like doing their round. Hello? Who's coming up the staircase? Can you do that again? Okay, I think I hear a name. What is up everybody? Welcome back to part two at Oxford Castle and Prison. We are here in England right now for our first stop of this terrifying road trip. This has been a crazy night. We've had so much activity happen. If you wanna be caught up on what we've already been through tonight, go and watch part one right now. The link is in the description. This was a castle and a prison. Definitely one of the oldest locations we've ever been to. We're talking about like 1071. And based on what we've already experienced here, it's safe to say that every single part of this castle and prison is very haunted. So we've all agreed on the top four scariest spots in this castle and prison. First, we have Matilda's room, which is halfway up the treacherous St. George's Tower, where the stairs were designed to kill you. Second, we have the cell block, obviously used for when this was a prison. After that, we have the punishment cells, which is a across the yard in a totally separate building. And lastly, the crypt. The dreaded crypt. I mean, the crypt is like the most haunted spot. We've got the most dark, oppressive responses tonight down there. Whoever gets the crypt is going to have one of the scariest nights of their lives. Tanner is going to write out those four locations on a piece of paper, and then we're gonna draw, and that's where you go sleep for the rest of the night. First, sleeping alone in the UK. All right, I got all the names right here. Charles, you want to who's going first? Dakota. <laughs> what? Let's go! Have you noticed she always picks you first? Yeah, I mean, I am technically the king of the castle, so. Uh. <laughs> technically. You got all four options on the board. Here we go. What's it going to be, Doc? This is so brutal. <sighs> What'd you get? <laughs> the crib. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, I've had the worst night. <laughs> we were told just 20 minutes ago that whoever's down there shouldn't be afraid and they should fear this entity. Yes, you should be scared. <laughs> Chelsea, you're up next. Draw next. You're up. All right, here we go. Like, like the continent. <laughs> this is it. Please be the punishment cells. You got the punishment cell. No, she didn't. She always tricks. Matilda. Matilda! Oh! No way! Punishment cells. That's like where the worst of the worst go. Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> Someone's a little cranky over there, huh, bud? I think King has the right to be cranky. <laughs> well. All right, Tanner, you're next. What? Okay. Two spots left. Ah, what? I got Matilda's. Matilda! Uh, that was the one I didn't want. I didn't want to go up the death stairs. <laughs> Matilda's room's interesting. Obviously, there's a cool story to that. But it, when this was a prison, there was actually like 70 prisoners jammed in that little space. Now I learned about that? Yeah. What? Let's cut to a drone shot right now of this building just to show you. It's in the middle of that giant tower you're looking at. You're right there, yep. As, as it's driving in. Stop, pause. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right there. That's where Tanner will be. I got a whole tower. You do. But you're not king of the castle. I'm not king of the castle. You're peasant of the tower. I'm the peasant of the tower! Hey, at least you're looking really sexy right now with that fear. For real? You think so? I got this at FearGear.shop. Anyone can get this. Will the link be in the description? The link is going to be in the description oh. if you want to look sexy. All right, Al. Wonder where I'm going. Let's find what out. What could possibly be what left? Could possibly be left. The cell block? What? Are you joking, Chelsea? What a surprise! I mean, we spent a good amount of time in the cell blocks, and like we had a lot of crazy things happen. I genuinely just didn't want the crypt or the punishment cells. Oh, damn. Same. <laughs> Same, dude. Oh. You know what time of 
is. Time to put Dakota in the crypt. He's going first? What? Why do you still have that? I don't know. It's funny. Be a pressure. <laughs> Get to your spot. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ow! All right, so I am in the punishment cells right now. These cells were used for those who misbehave, almost like a solitary confinement. Kind of grossed out, there are spiders that are about this big. I'm very far away from everybody else. I find it kind of ironic that I am in the punishment cell at my choice of location. Jeez Louise. Good check. My gosh. So right now, I am in the crypt. This is where they would store the dead bodies before burying them. The creepy thing about this crypt is that when the bodies were finally taken out of here and buried, they were buried on the other side of this wall in the grounds surrounding the castle. There were thousands of bodies that have come through this crypt. When it comes to the haunting in here, it's believed that this is the most haunted part of the entire castle. The most common claim down here is people see a shadow figure in this corner right here. So standing like right there in that corner is where people have seen a very tall shadow figure. I'm telling you guys right now, I have the worst feeling already down here. I absolutely hate this. I am officially alone in the cell block. So far, so good. Earlier tonight, we were hearing a lot of noises, so that's not great. I wanna show you guys how dark it is. So I have my flashlight on, and what you're seeing is infrared, and it looks nice and bright, but when I come over here and turn it off, that's what I'm seeing. That is the darkness. Luckily, I have my flashlight. Without this little flashlight, I would be in pitch black right now. I'm just gonna turn my flashlight off and just listen. Oh, that is a lot creepier now. Oh my God. Is there anyone that wants to come have a conversation with me? I can only imagine the horrors that you saw on a daily basis and the agony that you had to live in. Whoa, holy. Okay, my eyes could be playing tricks on me, but when I looked and turned this way, I swear I saw a shadow figure walking through the doorway. Like, I will show you right now. Like, so this right here, look at this, turning this off. You can kind of see there, see that the doorway right there, how it's a little bit more lit up. I swear I just saw a shadow figure walk straight across like that entire doorway, like half of it got blacked out and then moved to the right. I'm gonna walk down there. Okay, so our gear room is right here. And this is kind of where I saw it go to. This is the tower. Tanner is up those stairs. Is there anyone in here? God, dude, that scared me. Is there anyone in here with me? So I'm gonna set up the music box over there, set it up down the stairs, so if I hear footsteps again, that will go off and I will know that something moved in front of it. You can see that? What? Yo. I think it was a little bit right on thinking something was getting close to me because that went off right away.
So I'm going to turn on this device. If there is somebody here, you can use this device and select a word to communicate. Is there somebody here with me? Charles. Charles. If you're a prisoner who was in here, can you tell me why you were put in here? People have heard screaming coming from this area. Can you tell me what they're hearing and why why they're hearing screaming? Oh, it's so cold. Is there anything you can tell me about yourself? Can you tell me how long you were down here for? There. There. Yes. Entire. Here. Entire. Nine years. Nine years. Is that how long your sentence was for? Killed. Killed. Did you end up killing someone? Or were you killed? So I'm going to set up a REM pod in the adjacent jail cell. We're gonna see what we get. Jeez, this is so freaky. Essentially what the REM pod does, it creates like an electromagnetic barrier. And if there's any energy that comes in close contact, it will go off and we will know. All right, the REM pod is set up. I'm gonna go back to the area where my sleeping bag is. We'll see if anything gets picked up in here. These are the smallest doorways ever. Creepy spiders everywhere. So many creeper crawlers up in here. Okay. I do not feel alone in here. Well. Well. There is a well on Hangman's Hill. If there is somebody here, can you make a noise? There's walking. Oh. It sounds like boots, like an officer walking back and forth, like doing the round. I am so freaking scared right now. I feel like such a baby. Okay, well, while I'm down here, I'm gonna roll on the digital recorder for a little while and see if I can get something to communicate with me. This is a device that picks up frequencies our ears cannot hear, and it's believed to pick up spirit voices. So I'm gonna record, ask a bunch of questions, play it back, and see if I get anything. I'm setting this right here on the ground so I won't be touching it. If there's somebody in here right now, you can speak, and I will be able to hear your voice. If you have a message, Why does it seem that you want people to fear you? Why do you want people so scared of you? Why do people come in here and only see you in this corner? Why do you stand in that corner? All right, I'm gonna cut on the digital recorder right now and play this back. I'm gonna come closer to the camera though. All right, so I asked questions for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna play this whole recording back. If there's somebody in here right now, I can speak. I will be able to hear your voice. You have a message?
Why does it seem that you want people to fear you? Why do you want people so scared of you? Why do people come in here and only see you in this corner? Why do you stay in that corner? Whoa. I was asking about the corner, like why do you stand in the corner? And I hear something, something, the corner in a creepy whispering voice. Let me play that again. Why do people come in here and only see you in this corner? Why do you stand in that corner? What the hell is that? Maybe I'm mishearing this, but I think I hear I'm not the one in the corner. I said, why are you in the corner? And it's like a whispering voice that says, I'm not the one in the corner. Why do you stay in that corner? Why do you stay in that corner? Please, if you guys hear something different, comment below, but I think it says I'm not the one in the corner. I'm just gonna play the rest and see if I got anything else. Are you standing in the corner right now? All right, I'm gonna cut on a digital recorder right now. All right, I got nothing else after that. I'm gonna sit back down in my spot. Whew, that was freaky. right here so I'm just gonna turn this on is there anyone here that would like to have a conversation with me this device can allow you to speak with me if you are here can you walk into this room and tell me more about yourself is there anything that you would like to say right off the bat I'm just gonna sit here and let you talk if you have a message if you want to say anything to me now's the time Can you explain maybe how you got locked up in this prison? I just have a super heavy feeling. Like I know I'm not alone. It feels like someone is watching me standing here. If you don't want to tell me why you were locked up here, can you tell me how you died here? Twist. I don't know much about the execution methods, but I know there were some messed up ways back in the day that people would be killed, tortured. I wonder if Twist had anything to do with it. Maybe find a, a new word to tell me how you were executed. some sort of confirmation. You can even make a noise, knock on, on a door, shut the door, bang on the wall, or tell me through this device. I just want to know who I'm talking to, and I want to know more about what life was like here, what little life you guys had left and were given. Shock. It was shocking how brutal it was, or I would be in shock of how bad it really was here. Whoa! That sounded like metal on a bar. Can you walk towards me? Can you come make a noise in one of these rooms that I'm next to?
thank you for making that noise. Can you do that again? While I'm in here, can you move one of these chairs like that again? Okay, I need to keep asking questions because it is getting active right now. I mean, whatever is here is clearly intelligent. They know I'm talking to them. They can hear me, they can probably see me, and they directly answered my request to make a noise in one of the rooms close to me. Are you okay with me being here? Can you make that go off? Matilda, is that you? Matilda, can you do that again? Every time I say Matilda, it, it goes off. I have, a, I have a very strong feeling I'm talking to her. Matilda, do you want do you want me to go upstairs? Okay. All right, I'm gonna do it. Can you do it one more time if you want me to go upstairs? Okay, so I reached the top. I don't know why Matilda wanted me all the way up here or whoever I was talking to. I'm gonna go back to Matilda's room. He stopped. What? All right, I'm gonna turn the music box off again because I wanna see if I can get any audible noises. So the music box is scary. I think we can all agree on that. I know something is moving in front of that, but I want to see if I can hear any footsteps or anything like that. I, I'm, I'm completely on the edge. Like, I, I don't know why, but this is the most like unsettling I've, I've felt in a very long time at a location. Like, there's something about this tower and this room in particular that is just not all right. It's just a feeling of dread. All right, I turned off the music box. Can you please come closer to me? Can you do that again? Who's coming on the staircase? Can you do that again? Holy shit. Oh. Seriously. What the fuck? Hello? Something just freaking crashed or moved over here. I came from right here. Like, it sounded like a rock. Hello? Either something fell off the ceiling or like a rock was thrown? I can't tell where that came from, but I know it landed right here somewhere. It was either thrown from in this... Hello? Yo, that's creepy. I just heard movement at the end of the hall. I seriously... What the f It was either thrown from in this... Hello? Hello? Who's down here? 
Do you just throw something at me? Seriously. Yo, Alex? Yeah? Did you just hear something or, or not? No, I just heard you starting to walk towards me. Yo, seriously, you didn't hear that? No, what'd you hear? Dude, it sounded like a uh, rock being thrown from the hallway, like into the crypt, but then it literally sounded like, like something like moving its feet. Dude, I think whatever was up here went down to you. Cause I heard the exact same thing. Like I thought it was just one like boot going across the ground basically. Screw this. Okay, I'm glad. Actually, I'm not glad it wasn't you. That... I wish it was you. <sighs> okay, good luck. Okay, that was really creepy. So I've been sitting here for quite some time. Whatever was in here with me isn't responding to the devices, the PS device or the REM pod anymore. And I know that there is a well on site and it's actually one of the only spots that we didn't get to check out. It would make sense to go look. This could be a bad idea. But we're gonna go check out the well. to the top. I think this is it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That is freaky. Vaulted well chamber. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. This doesn't seem dangerous. jail cells. So I am going to use the digital recorder. I'm going to ask some questions and see if I get any sort of response. Okay, so I am rolling on the digital recorder. If there's anyone in here, I have a device in my hand that will let you talk to me. I'll be able to hear your real voice. Do you want to come in and have a conversation with me right now? Would you be willing to give me one of your names? I know this may be a touchy subject and you don't have to answer, but how did you pass away here? Did you die of natural causes or were you executed? And if so, how were you executed? Okay, what I'm going to do
do now is I'm going to set this recorder on the ground in front of me. If you have anything you would like to say, I'm just gonna let it sit there and you can just tell me whatever you would like. Listen back. It is like just a scream. Hold on, I'm gonna get closer so you guys can hear it better. But I asked, how did you die here? And it just sounds like a scream. I know this may be a touchy subject. You don't have to answer. But how did you pass away here? I feel like they're saying how they were executed or how they died, but I cannot make it out. It's just one word and it's like they're screaming it. Let me know in the comments because I cannot make it out. Maybe you guys have better ears for this than I do. All right, I'm gonna continue. Well, that was the end of it. Besides that one voice, there was nothing else that came through. This right here scans radio waves at a rapid rate. And it is said that spirits are able to speak to us and we'll be able to hear their voice. So I'm gonna turn this on, ask questions, and hopefully get a response. Is there anyone here with me? Yes, it said yes. Can you tell me your name? Are you okay with us being here? No? Why don't you like us being here? Am I talking to Matilda? What? In the crypt, something said it was gonna follow us and that we should fear it. Should someone be worried? Keep saying, get out. Massacre. Massacre? I thought, I could have sworn that's a massacre. Are you talking about all the hangings outside? All the people that died? The massacres? Okay, so right now, I am in the well. The well is essentially inside of Hangman's Hill. Really the only story that I know about it is that there was a boy who fell down the well, was stuck there for three days. They ended up getting him out and he ended up dying shortly after and apparently he screamed all the way until he passed away. So absolutely terrifying. This is so creepy. Is there anybody down here with me. If you are here, you can use this device to talk to me. Oh, I'm just so creeped out. Afraid. Afraid. Were you afraid of being down there for three days? That would be so terrifying. Like, I am scared just standing in the room with the well. I can't imagine how terrifying not only the fall would be, but also being on the bottom of the well for three 
days. I genuinely can't even imagine what that boy went through. Yes. Yes. I was just talking about a boy being afraid and then it said the word yes. Can you tell me what happened to you down here? Crowd. Crowd. Was there a crowd of people here trying to help you? All right, well, if I was talking to the boy who fell down the well, thank you. I'm sorry that you went through that. It must have been so scary. All right, so I've been down here for a while now. I'm going to head back to the punishment cells where I started. Cells. That well was so creepy. <laughs> There's so much dust down here, which is actually really gross if you think about it. There's dust in a room where there used to be bodies everywhere. I would not be surprised if a lot of this dust is from dead people. But let's just say it's not, so I feel better. Are you still in here with me? If that was you trying to throw something at me, can you... Do it again. If I had just heard the one noise, the first noise, like something being thrown, then I could write it off in my head as maybe like something fell off the ceiling, you know, it's super old. But then when I heard that scuffling noise after that to me, like verified that it was something. I'm just gonna get up really quick and show you guys this crypt so you understand how big this is. So I'm sleeping right here, but there's still all of this over here. It's just so creepy to know what this was. Just look at how old this stone is. Let me go off night vision. Look at this, just layers of stone. Okay, well, because so many people see like shadows in here, in the corner especially, I'm gonna take out my phone right now and just take some photographs. All right, so this is the corner where so many people have seen this shadow figure. I'm gonna take some photographs right now and see if I can get this shadow to show itself. If you stand in the corner right now, I should be able to see you. I believe that you're here. I can feel someone in here with me. Are you over here, maybe? Nothing so far. Okay, that's weird. I took a bunch of photographs, right? Keep taking photos, but then look at this in a second. Right here, look at that, you guys. That doesn't look like dust to me. Like, I've seen dust, and even when it's blurry, like, that is a weird white wisp, and it's not in the photo after, and for some reason, this photo's super blurry, too. Okay, that's freaking creepy. Right in the corner where the shadow man is seen. I'm terrified. I feel like I just actually caught something. Matilda, I'm talking to you right now. Are you the lady in white that everyone sees? That was another female voice and I couldn't make it out. Low battery. It died on me. What? This had a full charge. This should be able to go all night long. Like something took its power and drained it. All right, all right, it's just gonna be me and you then. Can you do something for me? Oh, what's going on? The uh, battery for the SB7 speaker is dead all of a sudden. What? That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, it was charged. That's what I, uh, that's what I was explaining. Like the thing should be able to last all night. 
That's strange, dude. What the hell? So it died. He like out of like out of nowhere. Like I was getting responses, and some of them were like really confusing. I couldn't make it out very well. Then all of a sudden, it just goes low battery, and then boom. What? Dead. How's it going in the crib? Hey, let me show you this really quick. Oh lord. There's a lot to sh talk about, but I'll just show you this just to leave you on a creepy note. Oh, thanks. <laughs> just scroll to the right. <laughs> it's a blurry photo, but it's really weird. Look at that. Normal photo right there, then that. Dude, what? And it's just weird because the before and after aren't blurry, and that one's blurry. The after one isn't blurry at all. It's weird, dude. I don't know what it is, but there is something in that photo and I honestly don't think it's like explainable because it's too solid of an object. I don't get that. That's so weird. That's f creepy as hell. Yeah, that's the last thing that happened to me. That's that's actually messed up. Well, we've, we've been doing this for over three hours, so we're on our last hour here. Oh Lord, all right. I'm gonna get back down there. All right, good luck. <laughs> good luck to you with that dead spirit box. Yeah, what the hell. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <sighs> All right, well, it was nice to have Dakota come out, but I didn't need to see that picture because that is absolutely terrifying. Oh, man. That was creepy. Right now I'm gonna turn on the ovulus. I'm gonna turn this on and see if I can get any more direct communication. So I know that I'm not alone right now, and I know that you're in here somewhere you can use this device to talk to me. After everything we've went through tonight, I have a strong feeling that you were a prisoner here who was executed and you told us you were innocent. What were you accused of doing? What was the crime that you apparently did? Many. Many? How come you threw a rocket in here earlier or something at me? Shock. Did you throw the rock at me to shock me? To scare me? Possible. Possible. It's funny because it's the same to shock me, to scare me. This thing told us earlier that it likes to, to, to scare people, to put fear in people. Well, you've already scared me several times tonight. It's worked. But I'd like to know why. Why you're here still. When I was down here earlier alone, you told me the words beast and unholy. What does that mean? Why would you tell me that? Because I don't think that you're unholy, a beast. I don't think you're something demonic at all. Evil. Evil. Just said evil. It reminds me of what I was saying earlier with unholy and beast. I feel like this thing's trying to make me think it's something else, like something evil and demonic, just to scare me, just to get a rise out of me. I'm gonna be leaving here soon. Do you have any final messages for me? Were you burned? Were you burned alive? Prior to them hanging people here, they would burn people alive here. Were you executed that way? Were you burnt alive? Stomach. Stomach. No way. Okay, that's so weird. Because in a, one of the other forms of execution here was they would disembowel people. Is that what happened to you here? Were you burned? Or were you disemboweled? Is that how they killed you? I can tell you one thing for sure. If that happened to me, I'd be pretty pissed off too. I'm gonna try again, ask some more questions, and just see if I can get anything to come through. Okay, I'm rolling on the digital recorder. If there's anyone here, this device that I have in my hand will allow us to communicate. I'll be able to hear your voice. Is there someone here with me that wants to have a conversation? Can you tell me the year you died in? What year was it? So there is a list of a bunch of prisoners that were executed here. Can you give me your name? Just want to thank you for trying to communicate. I mean, hopefully I got something. Hopefully this picked up your voice. 
But I'm just gonna go quiet again. And if you have anything you wanna say, any message you wanna get out, please do that now. Okay, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna listen back to this now. I think I hear a name. I hear my names and then something. What is that saying? I need to listen to that here. Richard? My name's Richard. I think I hear Richard. Thank you for giving me your name, Richard. I need to find that list and check it to see if there's a Richard on there. <sighs> okay, well, besides getting the name, there was nothing else. I am so curious now, like, I need to go check that list. All right. Here we go, here we go. Public executions in Oxford. There's a Richard right there. No way. There is a ton of Richards. Oh my God. Obviously it's going to be hard to determine which Richard came through on the digital recorder, but that right there is kind of bizarre. The sun is coming up, the overnight is over. I'm going to walkie all the guys and let them know that the night has come to an end. All right guys, sun's coming up. The night is over, you guys can wrap it up and we can meet back in the gear room. Oh, thank God. Yes! <laughs> Dakota sounded way too happy about this being over. All right, hello. Nice, we did it. Mm -hmm. The well is so deep. There's like a button that you can like push and turn on like the lights. It is, I don't know how that kid survived the fall. I had a bunch of movement up and down the stairs, hearing footsteps, the music box was going off. It was wild. I was doing digital recorder and I was asking for a name and I got the name Richard through it. Whoa, and I went down to the list to check to see if there was a Richard that was executed here and there was. No, no way. way, dude. There's a bunch of them, so I don't know which one it was, but there's like five or six Richards that were executed here. That is wild. Was on the list. I started taking pictures. I showed Tanner. There's like a clear white streak going across the corner where the shadow is. And it's not dust, it's like a, a solid white object. Oh my gosh, we all had very active nights. Bucket list location, check. I've always wanted to go to a castle. This night was so different. Safe to say, a lot of history does equate to a lot of activity. For this being our first stop in England, I cannot imagine how the rest of this road trip is gonna be. Chelsea picked a terrifying castle, and I just know the rest of the trip is going to get so much worse. From the crypt all the way to the tower and into the punishment cells, you could feel the darkness in every step, in every corner. This place was absolutely no joke. Everything that we experienced this night, we could relate back to a certain time period that this prison and castle was in operation. 
We did not leave our mark on this castle, but it left its mark on us. Well, we did it. We did it. I can't believe we already are done with our first location. What the hell? Dude, wild. That was an insane night. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm picking the next location. Oh. Yeah, and that was a great warm-up because we're about to head to the most demonic location in all of England. <laughs> dude, no, God, dude. Why is that not a surprise? It is no. not a surprise. Dakota has all of the UK to pick and he's going, ah, demons please. And if you want to see the next video where I'm taking everyone, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when that video drops. Yes, and don't forget to check out the Fear Club, www.fearclub.com for all of our extra content. We just dropped a bunch of new fear gear. Go check it out at feargear.shop. We have hoodies, hats, everything you guys want. I mean, it's gonna be sick, so. Last but not least, there is a hidden rubber duck in this video. Comment down below if you found the rubber duck and where you found it. It's hidden, it's really hard to find. I'll give you a hint though, it's not with me. That wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. How cool is this drone shot? Oh, watch out! How'd you do that? I don't know, I just bought the drone and you got the footage. Whoa! Yeah, I know, like, so pretty! I think it's safe to say I'm still the king of this castle. And I am the princess that was locked in the tower, <laughs> waiting for Shrek and Donkey.